Oh, hello. I'm, I'm Will. You may have noticed me doing audio behind the scenes in the last couple of episodes. Oh, and remember pepperoni nipples? That was me. So Wyatt couldn't be here tonight as a result of uh, funnel chocolate poisoning, but he, uh, he asked me to introduce the show for you tonight. So uh, as you'll see, the show tonight is all centered around one courtroom skit. It's ambitious, it's a lot of fun, and I think you guys are going to have a great time with it. So, uh, enough of my yakking. Sit back, relax, and, uh, prepare to get burnt. How was that? That's beautiful, Will. That's beautiful. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, unless my client can be in two places simultaneously, there is no way he could have been at the scene of the crime. Nothing more. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, what I'm about to show you is of an extreme graphic nature. I've taken upon myself to recreate the murder of Miss Jessica Sloan. And what I might show you might be unsettling, disturbing, even a bit horrifying. <clears throat> that being said, I will now present you the recreation of the murder of Mrs. Sloan. Now notice here, ladies and gentlemen, the repeated severe lacerations from an object of a very pointy design. Um, ultimately, she endured no less than a dozen boos inflicted by Mr. Lisman. Objection. On what grounds, Mr. Pritchard? On the grounds that he's a lying poopy face. Marcus Pritchard, I will not tolerate that kind of behavior in my courtroom. Do not think that I will hesitate to hold you in contempt of court. The judge. Now, Isaac, if you'd like to continue what you were saying. Thank you, sir. Uh, Your Honor. Um, now, as I was saying, Mr. Lisman arrived at the residence. Upon investigation of the scene, our team of professional analysts discovered that the front doorknob was covered in Cheeto dust. That Cheeto dust fingerprints directly match the fingerprints of Mr. Lisman. Objection! Oh, what now? He doesn't have the evidence. He's lying I again. I do, too, have the evidence. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Quiet signs. Now, Isaac, where is this evidence that you were talking about? Um, um my dog ate it. Sorry? My dog, he ate the evidence. Isaac, I'm sorry, but if you don't have the evidence, then we No, can't... no, no. I do have it. I promise. I think he promise. Sparky, he just, you know, he just got hungry and he just needed something to eat. Look, I promise that I did have the evidence. Okay, I'll allow it, but only because you pinky promised. <laughs> Marcus, don't think that I won't put you down to the red light. You don't want your daddy to know about this, do you? No. Because he's an alcoholic. Mm. And he'll beat you. Mm. Like a little punching bag. And now, a message from our sponsors. So I went to some dealership, right? I went over there like a stupid kid with events. Uh, they didn't even give me anything good. No cheap Nothing. price. Are you tired of really expensive prices on used cars? Boss, come on down to Onto Willie's. Willie's Wheel. We have the best prices. Early. Depending. Like the new Thor Bogus. Like the new Ford Focus. Or is it Ford? Ford Focus, yeah. For like $2.99. Ching out every freaking time. What about this old beaut? For only 50 cents, you can get this brand new 1983 Toyota Corolla. It has a bunch of beautiful features. I mean, just look at this thing. But all the best ones are inside. What 
How about this chin bone? 2029 VW, very wild. We got that wild turbo and all that cool shit. You know. We now return to our regular programming. Now my client was reportedly witnessed entering the Toys R Us at 4.30 p.m. to ascertain a type of toy by the brand name of, will you stop touching me? I'm not touching you. Stop it this instance. It's time to call your witnesses. Here it goes. Pickle pants. I call Mr. Jim Caribou to the stand. What do you do for a living, Mr. Jim Caribou? I'm a host for Bravo's popular television cooking show, Slopped. Airing Fridays at 9 on Bravo. Bravo, always on, slightly off. Yes, I see. And can you describe your relationship to the victim? She was, she, she was my mother. But not quite as good as mother as Jen Davis, Long Island basket weaver. Airing Fridays at night on Bravo. Bravo, here, everything's better. <clears throat> and where were you on the day of your mother's murder? I was hosting an episode of Slopped, airing directly after Toothpick Makers of Idaho. On Bravo, Fridays at night. Bravo, it's not television, it's Bravo. Bravo, did I mention Bravo? You did. Bravo. Can you describe the events of that night? And we're back in the Slop Kitchens. Our contestants are just now finishing up their dishes for the judges. Now, Andy, what do you have going on here? Got some pico de gallo simmering and mole sauce. The trick is to really be generous with the mole. Very interesting, very interesting. Now let's let's move on over here. Now, Jenny, has your vegan food perspective has it been has it been particularly challenging for you? No. Nope. Okay, let's move on to hey, how BJ you doing? over here. Hey. All right, are these going? We got this one going and this one going. I believe so. Are All they right, going? Okay, are so they going? Good. Yes. All right. Yes. So okay, you get good. your mozzarella. That's what I got here. I got some Mozzarellas. fucking pepperones. All right, and we got some marinette. Fucking who put this in there? All right. Get this out. I guess, you know, it's good to get your mind right with some marinaria, you know, can't always go wrong with that. Uh, all right, course, what you like to do is you like to get your pepperones, and if they stick in, you're good, but if they ain't sticking, give them a licking. All very right, wise, now we'll take this over here, pop it in there, and uh, I throw it in there, and as you see, it's baby food, all right? Who the fuck does that? Yeah. The, the jury is out. All right, that, so truly. we're good? Are we done? All right. No, I'm by no means home. are we done. This is a all right. program. That was good. Going? Action. Is that so called? All right. Um, okay. Hey, who's in the fucking bathroom? It, I need a bathroom. Is there someone in the bathroom? I need a bathroom. I need a bathroom. There's a bathroom. My mother's from Boston, my father's from Jersey. They name me Boston Jersey. I go by BJ for short. Go fuck yourself. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go. Come here, buddy. This is my boy, Boston Jr. Goes by BJJ for short. Give him away, buddy. There you go. All right, yeah, thanks, baby. There we go. All right. Here you go, buddy. You want to give it a try? I'm just kidding. You're a good kid. There we go. Take him back. There you go. All right. You know, I mean, it's, it's baby food. It's always what I go back to, you know? It's what my mom was cooking for me when I was Boston Junior, Junior's age. You know, just always think about her stirring that up and just hearing that blender going. Just always hearing that blender going. Just re 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 Just always going. It's just tough. I think about my mom. She's from Boston. I already said that, I think. It's baby food. It's what she taught me. It's what she taught me. It's baby food. It's fucking baby food. Who the fuck does that? My fucking ma did. She did baby food.
Back in the Slop Studios, our contestants are ready to hear from the judges. Let's see what they have to say. Um, so VJ, just tell us a little more about the dish, please. It's baby food. What's the matter? Love it, hate it, didn't even taste it. Guys, it's fucking baby food. So you got something against babies? They got something against babies? You got something against babies? It appears as if our celebrity judge, Sour Patch Kid, has just finished the second bowl. Yo, I don't know what this is, but it's the best thing I ever put in my fucking mouth. Oh my god. Fucking great. Clearly a divisive series of dishes here in the Slop Studio. Who will be the next Slop star? Who will the judges choose? Stay tuned, you'll find out in a moment. I'm sorry, but how the fudge is that relevant? What do you mean? I mean, it seems like you just pulled up this witness to channel story that has absolutely nothing to do with the situation at hand. I thought it was quite innovative. Sit your butt back down before I hold you in contempt of court. And you, get out of my classy and conservative court show. Sure will. Catch me on Jim Caribou, American Announcer, Fridays at 9 on Bravo. And now, a message from our sponsors. To settle you down. Remember those games we played Be okay. on the streets, but Be the absence of color. You color. used to keep color. so quiet. We now return to our regular programming. I have one last witness to attest to my client's innocence. That'll be the day. I'd like to call Festus McGee. Now, Mr. Festus, why don't you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what happened that night? Well, it, it was just last week. Um... Detective Ames. WGPD. Got a few questions for you. Quick questions, of course. And I'll be out of your hair. Uh, of course, Detective. Do uh, you want a cup of coffee? Or... That'd be good. One sugar. Man, totally. Totes. T O T E. -S. Right, so you, you planted the evidence at that house? Oh, that. That, no, no, man. I, I did not. I did not do that particular task that you sent me to. No. Bert. Fucking shithead. There's a detective here. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Oh, God. Dude, just <laughs> kill him or something, you know? Just, you know, just, just keep it up. Kill him? Bert, with what? I, I, the axe? I don't have it anymore. Damn, man, no. Hey, who is it? Hey, what? Oh, it's, it's, it's fetus, man. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Bert, you shithead, you're useless. One sugar, one sugar, one sugar. One sugar. Should we get started? Go ahead. What were you doing last Thursday night, February 19th? Can you remember? Last Thursday night? Exactly. Okay, um, 
Last Thursday night, I was just at my friend's house. What about at 8 o'clock that night? What about then? Um, all right, I was still at my friend's house. And I think it was around that time that I was just, uh, I don't know, bashing his brains with my axe. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We have a witness that said to me that you were at your own home that night, at that time. Care to explain? Uh, I, I don't have a... Um... You see, we think you have an alibi, Mr. McGee. Uh, no, Detective, I, I don't have an alibi. He said that you were at your own home that night. It had nothing to do with the axing. You were watching toil videos on your computer. What's that about? Who told you this? I can't disclose this information. He, he has to be keeping on DL. Alright, fine. I... Look, whoever he is, I can tell you right now, he's a liar, okay? You're innocent, aren't you, Mr. McGee? Innocent? Detective, I murdered my friend, okay? Look, I cut off his head! Then I cut off his arm! Then his other arm! Then his leg, and then the other leg! Then his fucking dick! I fucking murdered my friend, Detective! I'm not innocent, please! We didn't find one piece of evidence tied to the murder. Not one. But that's impossible, okay? You have to have found evidence. I made sure that the axe would be at the scene of the crime. Where's this axe you're talking about? I can't see it. Why don't you show it to me? Yeah, you're a real Paul Bundy, aren't you? I didn't think so. Oh, look, just... You haven't even touched your coffee yet, Detective, okay? Just sit down, have your coffee, we can talk things over, okay? Turns out I don't really like coffee. I'm more of a, more of a tea guy myself, a uh, real gray and all that. Um, but I, I'm gonna head out. You have a nice day, Mr. McGee. Did this? I. It, it was me. All right, you're cute, but who did this? No, I'm. I'm, I'm serious. I, I murdered him with my hands. Look, my, my bare don't hands. Don't fuck with me, kid. Who the fuck did this? Amusing, but once again, irrelevant. I mean, I understand the law enforcement tie-in, but besides that, that has nothing to do with the case at hand. Will the representative of the jury please step forward to deliver the decision? Um, we, the men and women of the jury, find the defendant guilty of all charges. Oh, what is that? Is that a win? Is that a victory? I now declare recess Hello. until the next case. Everyone, get out. Ugh, feels like... Cooties, 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 cooties.